All right, so now it's time to look at sample question number four from the Salesforce Certified Administrator exam guide. And so that question reads, which two should a system administrator consider before importing a set of records into Salesforce? And so it tells you here to choose two answers, and those answer options are either A, the import file should include a record owner for each record, B, currency field values will default to the personal currency of the record owner, C, data should be deduplicated in the import file prior to import, and D, validation rules are not triggered when importing data using the import wizard. All right, so this question is dealing with importing a set of records, and so basically it's asking what you should consider before importing those records. And so it's helpful to know what is incorrect blatantly at the onset of approaching a question like this, and that'll help you to reduce the number of potential answers that could possibly be correct. First thing to keep in mind is that validation rules are respected during the import process, either th through the import wizard or through the data loader. So D cannot be correct because as you do mass imports, the validation rules do indeed trigger and block records from going in. And so this one, D, is incorrect. And so then as well, some of these best practices or things that you should consider is that if you want to specify a record owner for each record, you need to specify that in the import file. Otherwise, the record will be owned by you as the importer. And so A is one of the correct answers. An example would be if you want to specify who an account owner is or an opportunity owner. If you don't specify that specifically to the different individual users that you want, then those will be owned by default by you instead. So you want to account for who the record ownership should belong to. And then as well, ideally you want to deduplicate the records before importing them into Salesforce. Now you can set up duplicate rules and try and block those as well. There's different ways of doing that through uh, some different duplication mechanisms in Salesforce. And you can also do that through some different validation rules, for example. The best practice is to dedupe the import file before importing as well. And then, uh, so the correct answers are A and C. Uh, currency fields in answer B, those will not default to the personal currency of the record owner. And so once again, correct answers on question number four are A and C. And this particular sample question is one to where it tests your knowledge of the platform and also gets into some of the best practices. It may be confusing because you can go ahead and import duplicates into the system and there are ways to help prevent some of that uh, once they're imported or to block that or warn the user. But this is a good example of not only selecting two answers, but the best two answers. And uh, some of this just will fall on, you know, knowing the platform well. So I encourage you with all these sample questions to do some research as well. And this will help you to learn the limitations of the platform and to confirm these findings and these answers for yourself. And so you can do a little research, do some Googling and find out if these are indeed the correct answers or not and find out about currency field values and if they default to the personal currency of the record owner, for example. And then as well, try to find out when validation rules are triggered or not through the import wizard or the data loader. And so as always, you want to not just take my word for it or even the uh, answer key at the end of the exam guide here, but you wanna verify this in your own mind and test these things out and, and just verify that these are correct.